Okay, okay. So things happen quickly. Just put out a little while ago a video saying, you know, Ross moves that the Yankees made. And they had sent Willie Calhoun down, and they invited Rafael Ortega and, and Esteban Floria up to New York. Right? Well, just a few minutes ago, there was an announcement that the Yankees released Rafael Ortega. So he's no longer part of the equation at all. So just as quickly as they can call somebody and they can release somebody. But let me ask you this. If this was a live stream, show of hands, who thinks Esteban Floria is going to be starting left fielder on opening day? My hand's not going up. Okay, so that tells me it's either going to be Oswaldo Cabrera or they're training for somebody. What else could it be? It's not going to be the Martian. It's not going to be Everson Pereira so, or Spencer Jones just yet. So what's it going to be? Again, this is how quickly stuff happens in Yankee land. So this is why I want to get you to breaking news when it comes out because an hour later we might see some new stuff. We might see, oh, my God, the Yankees made a trade. And by the way, if you're noticing, the Yankees have been optioning out a lot of relievers, and they still have a reliever or two to, to pad here or to add to the bullpen. So I'm guessing, too, the Yankees are working on a trade for a reliever as well. I don't know who else they would <clears throat> bring up. You know, they've already brought up Jimmy Cordero, but they've already optioned out. You know, why certainly Ian Hamilton, uh, a bunch of the guys. I mean, Nick Ramirez might still be available. Uh, so be, I don't know if he they optioned by yet. But again, they're 23 out of 26 so far roster spots filled. Okay, there are three yet to be filled. Now, they're going to have to make room for Volpe, so they're going to have to make a move. Now, they can obviously put guys like um, Scotty e. Frost and, and Frankie Montez on the 60-day aisle to clear up roster spots. So that's that's inevitable. That's an easy one, an easy fix. But I, if you think the Yankees are not making trades right now or in the works, um, I would think again. I would think again because these, stuff, these, re, these types of moves like this happen for a reason. You know, would, why would they send down Calhoun – Send or take up to New York and then release the guy. And again, is Florio's not going to be the starting left field? I'd be shocked, shocked. And if they don't make a trade, I hope it's uh, Oswaldo Cabrera. But again, this is what happens the last couple of days of spring training. We are two days from opening day. It's going to be nuts. Okay, so look at that thing down below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't done that yet because you'll be filled in on all the latest stuff. You'll get the roster when it comes out, the exact rule live stream. And I've said this before so that because I want to know what you think. If the Yankees make a couple of shocking moves, I want to talk to you as all about it. So that way it could be like, holy, what the freak? Like, I have a feeling something's coming up. Something I don't know what it is, but, you know, what else could it be, gang? What else could it be? And, again, this is the – the unpredictable part, but the exciting part too, right? So we've already been excited once with Volpe getting his opportunities, getting sent to the opening day, and, and it's going to be a starter on opening day. So it's going to be awesome. So let's hope for a couple more good Yankee moves. And again, I do see a trade for a relief pitcher at the very least, one with controllable years. As otherwise, they wouldn't be optioning out so many relief pitchers right now. So but we'll see, gang. We'll keep it coming. Talk to you later.